Hey, it's Mike. If you live in an area like I live in where there are lots of hills, one of the big dangers of operating a tractor is tractor rollover. There's a couple of things you can do to minimize the potential for tractor rollover. One is ballast, and we'll talk about that in another video. Today we're going to talk about the rear tread settings, because a lot of tractors have different tread settings that you can adjust to that will make the potential for tractor rollover a lot lower and make them more stable. The first tractor I'm going to show you today has a welded center section and rim. On a tractor like this you have only two potential tread settings. Whoever has owned this tractor has put it, put, has swapped sides with the tires and rims and put the dish to the outside giving him the widest possible tread width. If you happen to have a tractor that has a center section and a rim that bolt together, you have multiple tread options. I'm going to show you two identical tractors today with radically different footprints on the back. The first one was probably shipped this way with a narrow tread setting. It's got the dish to the outside, which means the tires are tucked right in close to the fenders. If I lived in an area like I live in where there are lots of hills, I would look at widening this out. And if you swapped sides with the tires, you will widen it out. But here's another tractor where they have put the tread setting at the absolute widest. They have the center section bolted on the inside of the rim. They have the dishes pointed to the outside. The difference in these two tractors and how wide the back tires are is amazing. The first tractor you will see has a tread setting of 68 inches from the outside of the lug to the outside of the lug. The tractor with the tires set out has a tread width from the outside lug to the outside lug of 83 inches, a difference of 15 inches. The wider footprint is going to make the second tractor much, much more stable on hills. Now, one thing I'm going to warn you about doing this, the wider your rear tires are set out, the more pressure there is on the bearings inside of the tractor. It could cause premature wear, but if it saves your life, it's worth it.